All right, despite the winter weather advisory, spring is supposed to be here and is supposed to be the nesting season for Idaho's birds. You know, ducks and geese, usually on the ground. That's why they tell you to watch where you're going with your animals out on the green belt and such. Birds of prey, hawks and eagles, usually someplace up high. Well, we noticed a new nest being built in an unlikely place. Maybe you noticed it as well as one of the tens of thousands who drive down State Street every day through Eagle. And yes, we're talking about an osprey nest in Eagle. From the traffic on the highway to the traffic in the parking lot, there's a lot going on around Eagle's East End Shopping Center. Usually we're here by ourselves, you know. For Larry and Marlene Norman, many mornings are spent here sipping coffee. Grande Pike with the steamed cream. And just seeing what there is to see from the front seat of their truck. Often there are geese here. There's always a habitat to, uh, to watch. This morning, their sights are set a little higher. Well, these guys certainly in this little construction project that we've been watching is keeping us uh, entertained. A couple of Ospreys. They're busy building. Have decided to make the north side of this east end sign. Not something you see often. Home. I wonder how many people from the highway here noticed this. And it wasn't something the Norman saw yesterday. Yeah, we sure didn't see it. And that's the first thing we saw coming in the driveway today. So like a lot of others, seeing the beginnings of what could be. I don't know who's doing what. Something big. They seem to know what they're doing. They leave and they bring back a very uh, specialized piece of timber. Ospreys often partner up for life with the male tasked with selecting the spot. See, that's a nice piece of timber right there. And supplying the materials for the nest. As it should be. <laughs> and sometimes in between branches. That wasn't much they might take the time to make more than just the nest. I mean, they're gonna need the babies to fill it. You can't get this at every restaurant. Turning a normal morning for the Normans into something more. We've seen a lot of construction in Ada County in the last few years, and this is probably one of the nicer ones for us. You know? <laughs> Location, this doesn't seem to be much of a selling point for Ospreys. They picked that spot. I don't think there's any backing off now. And the Normans? they'll be back too. Yeah, we're going to have to keep track of, track of this now that we uh, know it's there. Okay, so the Ospreys not only mate for life, they're also pretty attached to their nests. Many of them return every year to the same one and they just keep adding to it. So, so much so that some of them, after generations of gathering, they could end up about 10 to 13 feet deep and about three to six feet across. Of course, these are the nests that are kind of secluded, tucked away in cliffs and trees and stuff. But the question is, will that one get that big? Well, we asked Idaho's Department of Fish and Game about osprey nests being built in such places so close to civilization and such. They told us the osprey has become pretty adaptable. And if the nest ends up being successful, meaning they raise offspring, osprey offspring in that nest, well, it could be there for several years. Of course, that also depends on the owner of the sign if they want to allow it to remain there.